five amazing arcane weapons post 1.03 patch in under a minute and a half. Mogwin's Sacred Spear. This is a weapon you trade Morg's Remembrance for with two fingers that requires 24 strength, 14 dexterity and 27 arcane. An incredible looking great spear which is amazing for taking multiple adds out at once as well as landing insane damage on bosses. Eleonora's Pole Blade. This weapon you get for defeating the Eleonora Invader within the second church of Mocha upon the Atlas Plateau. This deadly twin blade not only performs as good as it looks, it scales with Arcane too, making it one of the better weapons in this game. Mirage Executioner's Sword. This weapon is dropped by Eleanor of the Briar within the Shaded Castle, a weapon with a seriously unique special attack which looks incredible, which is almost unmatched. It requires 24 in strength, 14 in dexterity, and 24 in Arcane to use this thing. Next up guys we have Morgat's Cursed Sword. This is a weapon you trade Morgat's Remembrance for with two fingers that requires 14 strength, 35 dex and 17 arcane. A weapon unheard of pre-patch. Post-patch it's becoming more popular and rightly so. Lastly guys, the Rivers of Blood. This is a weapon that drops from Bloody Finger or Kina. It requires 14 in strength, 35 in dexterity and 17 in arcane. And while right now it's regarded as the best weapon in the game. Be careful though because if you kill the fire jump before you go to get invaded at the Church of Repose, you won't be invaded, so you'll lose out on this weapon. And there we have it guys, 5 incredible arcane weapons post-patch in under a minute and a half. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and hopefully guys, I'll see you on that next one.